Hi, I'm 12 News Meteorologist TJ Del Santo with an update for you on this blizzard. We are looking at, well, it looks like a snow globe there in North Kingstown with quite a bit of snow, uh, between 14, uh, 18 inches of snow there in North Kingstown. Here's Newport, where they may have had an official blizzard, seeing some reports from Newport of 18 inches of snowfall. Warren, 22. Bristol, 21 inches of snow. Attleboro, Closing in on 20 inches, Newport and Providence at 18 inches. That's in the city of Providence, a foot and a half of snow. Uh, still looking at snowfall rates, one to three inches an hour here in southern New England in some areas where those uh, areas of dark blue are. That's where we're seeing it. In western Rhode Island right now, one to three inches an hour. Parts of the Cape, one to three inches an hour. And even parts of Plymouth County there in Massachusetts. That last band there in western Rhode Island will be rotating across the rest of the area. Could be looking at uh, another uh, inch or two at least. And then we'll finally begin to see the quieter uh, weather return. There's that area of low pressure off to our east right now on the back side of it. Winds from the north and northwest. So all of these uh, snow bands have become oriented from more of a, a, a northeast to a southwest tilt to more of an up and down north-south tilt. And eventually they're going to be uh, getting out of here as the storm pulls away. Hour by hour forecast, you can see that we are looking at the snow heavy at times, probably till maybe about five, six o'clock or so. And then uh, some lighter snow continuing uh, maybe till about nine o'clock. And then we'll begin to see perhaps some partial clearing after midnight, but it's going to be a cold night. The wind's quieting down as well, but you know what? We're still looking at gusty winds all night and through the at least the morning tomorrow. Here's the timeline. Snowfall rates one to three inches an hour in spots. Heaviest now through 6 p.m. Gusts up to 45 miles an hour through 6 p.m. as well. Another thing we're monitoring the high tides. Uh, some coastal flooding possible 5 to 6 p.m. Already seeing some uh, minor splash over down there in Narragansett. Still looking at generally 18 to 24 inches of snow across the area. Um, most areas have pretty much already seen that. Uh, and uh, we're going to continue to uh, see the snow pile up, at least for a few more hours here in southern New England. Blizzard warnings continue. Travel ban also continues uh, through midnight, according to the latest information from uh, Governor McKee. It is 4 p.m. Uh, briefing. Uh, for tonight, snow showers, lingering showers, 10 o'clock, uh, beginning to see some clearing after midnight and frigid. Look at those temperatures down to the single digits late in the night. With the wind, it'll feel like it's below zero. Uh, for Sunday, feeling like below zero with the wind chills in the morning, staying cold and blustery, at least through the morning hours. In the afternoon, with sunshine, we're looking at temperatures topping out in the 20s. Boy, it's certainly a, uh, a cold day tomorrow to kind of do some uh, cleanup from the blizzard. Uh, coming up on 12 News, we'll keep you updated about this storm. We've got that full seven day forecast for you. Be sure to stay tuned.